Hey guys, what is up? Mackie's Mad Sports here, and today I will be doing a bit of a different video. I will be looking at the round 16 ladder and progressing through, th thinking about who will make, who is almost certain to make the finals, who is fighting for the finals, and who is not that certain to make the finals. I hope you enjoy, and let's get right into this video. So guys, here is my insight on the AFL ladder for the end of the year. So starting off, I will tell you all the teams. We have Western Bulldogs, Melbourne, Brisbane Lions, Port Adelaide, Geelong Catch, Sydney, West Coast and GDOS make up the top eight. And then you've got Richmond, Fremantle, St Kilda, Essendon, Carlton, Gold Coast, Adelaide, Collingwood, Hawthorne and North Melbourne. So I will basically be telling you who would be certain to make the finals and who would are fighting for the finals at the moment and who are not so much of a chance of making the finals. So let's start off with the teams you would say they would be making the finals this year. Western Bulldogs, Melbourne, Brisbane Lions, Port Adelaide and Geelong Cats. Seeing as they're the only teams who are to win above 10 games, I think they've got the best chance of making the finals this year. Western Bulldogs and Melbourne have been epic this year, winning 12 and lose, and just losing the three games, while Brisbane, Port Adelaide and Geelong Cats have won 11 games and just lost the four games. I think they um, have a strong side who will easily make the finals, even with teams coming up behind them like Sydney, West Coast... GWS, I think they will show throughout the rest of the year and make the finals, as most of them did last year. So now moving on to the teams who would basically be fighting for the finals. We have Sydney Swans, West Coast, GWS, Richmond, Fremantle and St Kilda, all winning between 9 and 7. So Sydney have been a good team this year. Not so much last year. They are definitely in a big battle. I would put them as one of the teams, one of the three remaining teams to make the finals. Along with West Coast, they've been good for the past couple of years and um, winning the 2018 flag. And I think they will definitely show right through to the end, scraping in in sixth. Um, with the Swans coming in seventh. Now the Giants, I, uh, I just don't think they will make the finals this year. Haven't been good. Wasn't weren't the best last year, um, and th I just don't think they have shown that much that they can make the finals. Beating Melbourne though, Melbourne. I just don't think they will make the finals. So, I I'd say they'd be coming like. Ninth, tenth, maybe just losing out on the finals to one to St Kilda, Fremantle, or Richmond. Um, I just don't see them making it. So I'm, I would say they would finish possibly maybe tenth, eleventh. So that's my opinion, really. So Richmond have not been the best team last year. The two-time premiers in a row past two years and then winning the 2017 one as well. Um, I don't see them making the finals. I see them coming ninth, the uh, same position as they are right now. They have not been a good side this year, losing to Gold Coast, who are down in 14th in Melbourne. I just see that as a sign that they're not going to make it. They're not going. They're not the greatest team this year. And I see them coming ninth, really. Now, Fremantle aren't the team you'd expect to maybe make the um, finals, really. They're a good team and all, but you really expect them to finish between, like, the 11th and 14th mark. Or, like, between, like, 9 and 14. But I see them coming, like, 11th this year. Not going to be as good as St Kilda, who are really um being good the past couple of years getting into the finals and last year i just don't think Fremantle will show for the rest of the year 
coming in the 11th spot behind the Giants and Richmond. I just don't see them making the finals. And the team that will be the last team making the finals this year is St Kilda, who have been a good team lots, like, past couple of years, making the finals last year, as I said before. And I think they've played good this year. Um, they've lost every now and then, but I think they can come back up over that and win and keep winning and end up finishing eighth as as um as well as Sydney West Coast and Gi- and as well as Sydney and West Coast. So that's who I see making the finals. And the teams who are not likely to make the finals are Essendon, Carlton, Gold Coast, Adelaide, Collingwood, Hawthorne and North Melbourne. So Essendon have been a good team this year, winning lots of winning lots of games, um, especially some a couple of hardish ones, um, against teams like Fremantle, and um, I just don't see them making the finals. They've already lost a lot more than they should have to basically make the finals, and I don't just I don't see them coming out for the rest of the year and making finals they would come between like 12th 13th but i just don't see them making it this year so carlton next they've been a good team i'd say a good ish team like i i would rate them as like a 8th to 12th place team but i just see them sitting around the 12th to 14th mark this year haven't been as good as they've they can be um, but they've still got some room for improvement, and um, I just don't see them making the finals. They ha- they've, as I said with Essendon, they haven't won the games they needed to win, um, but and to make it, um, and I just don't see them making the finals. So Gold Coast, being a good team past couple of years. Especially 2020, I think that was one of their best years, like, game-wise. But I just don't see them making it. They Like, five wins and ten losses, that's not the way you would get into the finals. With only seven games left, if they're going to make the finals, they've at least got to win all seven of them, which I don't see happening. Um... But you never know, they might win that, but I just don't see them doing it. Same with Adelaide, but last year they weren't the best. I think they're just starting to come up from last year, like as they did at the end of it. They're starting to rise, but yeah, I just don't see them making it as well as Gold Coast. Um, They've been a good team, mainly, this year. Beating the Cats first round. Managing the 30-point comeback against Saints. But I just don't see them making the finals as well as Gold Coast. Um, They would sit around like the 13th, 14th mark. Definitely getting better as the years progress. With the new coach and a lot of new players. I just don't see them making the finals this year. So the next team, Collingwood. New coach, as they sacked Nathan Buckley, or M- Buckley decided to leave Collingwood because um, they couldn't win matches um, this year and possibly next year. I don't see them making the finals. New coach, which may affect them a lot, as you mainly see with new coaches. They don't really show in their first year. They mainly come between, like, 9th and 18th. But, you know, but... We're having to win. We've seven games left. They they can't make it. I don't say so. They they're not going to really make it into the finals, and I just don't see them winning, really. But moving on to the next team, Hawthorne, like Collingwood, but they're they're not the greatest team. 
even after those three in a row premierships, they started to drop out. And I think they've been, like, lowering and lowering ever since. And I think they'll just stay around, like, below 14th for a while. But, yeah, this year they're not making the finals. I don't see them winning the games that they need to win to make it. So the next game, the next team is North Melbourne. Um, They have not shown as good as they should have this year. Like the Crows last year, they can't seem to win a game. They're just struggling to even get that much score. But progression was made against Western Bulldogs last week, only losing by 31 points, which is a plus. So, yeah, I really see um, North Melbourne maybe, like, next year being the 16th, below the 16th mark. But I'd say they'd be getting better in the next couple so of guys, years. So, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, if you want to, subscribe right here for more videos. And maybe check out the video that YouTube recommends for you right here. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!